Hello everybody, welcome, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, check me leaving the door open. <laughs> so I just wanted to share with you my Good Friday menu, the main meal that we had. We had visitors and stuff like that. So yeah, we've got fish and fridge on there. <laughs> and um, yes, it's all about Good Friday. So there you have it. I hope you all had a good day as well. And uh, this dish, although we traditionally have it on Good Friday, it's actually available all times of the year. So I got started here. I first of all did the longest thing, which was to roast the vegetables, which was a mix of bell peppers and um, tomatoes, onions, scotch bonnets, etc. And I just covered them with some oil and I roasted them in my air fryer. Okay, so yeah, I've got a new air fryer, by the way, guys. <laughs> yeah, if you're on TikTok, you probably know that. Anyhow, and then what I did is I proceeded to um, <coughs> cook the catfish. So the catfish, we tend to boil it first. So I just put a few onions in there uh, with some seasoning, some salt, some onions, pepper, lemon, um, that type of stuff, parsley. And um, yeah, that was it. I didn't keep the stock though because I only boiled it for a little bit. And then I made a seasoning... Um, a seasoning mix which was maggi cubes smoked paprika dried parsley and some black pepper okay um so you know the thing is traditionally we eat good friday on uh we eat good friday we eat fish on good friday because it is um said that we don't eat the flesh of a warm-blooded animal due to the sacrifice that jesus christ made okay so we eat fish and really truly if we're to follow um, Christianity in the traditional sense we shouldn't eat it at all during Lent because Lent is a, for, is a time of penitence and getting closer to God and um, yeah and obviously eating meat can be seen as a bit of a celebration okay so here I've got it with some oil here um, and I'm just going to fry some onions off okay we check to see that as well when it bubbles then it's hot so we added that in and I'm going to go in there with some tomato puree shortly. So we don't use much of that really to make fish. And it's not even really necessary. I don't know why I put it, but I did. So yeah, so once that was all fried off, I added the um, the pepper sauce. Yeah, that I'd roasted. And um, so we let that cook for a while. Um, it takes a while to cook down to be fair and it spits all over the place look at it splattering everywhere then I loosened it up with some stock so that's chicken stock that I had in my freezer that was homemade stock um, yes the bag was no longer reusable <laughs> so then I added in my seasoning there like that okay and um, yeah so then we um, we let that cook again so that's just how it goes guys a lot of stirring a lot of opening cooking close and then when that was done i went in with the catfish first so that's quite a sturdy meaty fish you know um so yeah <laughs> then i went in there with the conga eel so yes we had conga eel this time which was very nice i got a real big gigantic one but we didn't cook all of it and um when that was done so what i forgot to mention was i'd actually seasoned the fish the night before with lemon juice, parsley, black pepper, salt, ginger, not ginger, um, garlic. And um, yeah, so that was nice. So I'll put that in there. That's going. And then eventually, that's me going in with some fresh parsley. And then I put some cod. So the cod, we put it in last because it takes but a minute to cook when you're cooking it like this. <laughs> and um, yeah, so then we shake it all around because you don't want to break it up. And that's that. It's absolutely done. Okay. So the next thing uh, I did there, just sort of just checked everything was down. So after that, we went on to pre start preparing um, the next dish, which is fridge on. So Nigerians, traditionally we have fridge on, which, has, um, which is a stewed beans in coconut milk. Okay. So we're using, um, uh, I'm speaking toasted off the spices there which is cloves and cinnamon um, the tradition actually originates from our brazilian quarter in lagos and apparently um some say that good friday means for a job i'm not really sure about that but that's what it said in the site that I was reading on and uh, basically this was brought back by um west african people who had been enslaved and they returned back from brazil when they were um 
released in 1888 and they um, they came back to Nigeria and were integrated into the society and we refer to them as Agudas and they settled on Lagos Island and it's called Brazilian Quarter okay and so yeah this is um, what we would refer to as Afro-Brazilian culture and it's very steady it's a very good meal so that's what we do you would have seen I um, I used canned black beans I washed them blitzed them put them through the sieve and then we added some coconut cream there you saw me adding it in there um i blitzed those spices so i added those spices in and then i grated some nutmeg in there as well and then you just keep loosening it up until it's as you please <laughs> okay so yeah you stirred that covered it added some coconut milk then covered it and then that was it guys it was nearly done i found that Maybe I'd added a bit too much water. It was a little bit loose for me. So I went in there with some, um, what you would call it, corn flour slurry just to make it a little bit thicker. Um, but yeah, this is, it's a really hard if you think about it. It's high in protein. It's got, um, it's got some good fats from the coconut. And then you just add a little bit of sugar to taste. Okay, you can add salt as well. So, but you would need the sugar. Um, some people add salt. I didn't bother adding any salt this on this occasion okay and um that was how it went check that out that was me tasting it to see and um, i think i found that i needed a bit more sugar so i added just a bit more sugar in there and um yeah that was it honestly it was really yummy we had visitors and we finished the whole lot <laughs> oh well there's a little minute one left there that i might have at breakfast later so yeah that's me going in with the with the comb um cornflower slurry there and that is what we did guys so i hope you've enjoyed the demonstration i hope you had a fantastic good friday and um, hopefully i will see you in the next video thank you very much for being here take care look after yourself and remember guys eat good food and yeah we put the cling film on it so it doesn't get um, a skin on top okay yeah so eat good food stay hydrated and guys be kind to yourself and be kind to others and that's how I stored the rest of the coconut milk. So see you soon. Bye.